Hi, and welcome to Elementary Music with Donna. I am Donna Rodenizer, and I'm going to sing a camp song for you today, but I'm not going outside. I don't know if you could tell, but it's raining out there. So I'm just going to close the door and let the wet stay out, and we'll do a camp song inside, even without a campfire. How's that? This is the song, I'm Glad I Am a Camper. It is one of my favorite camp songs to do with upper elementary students. It's also one of the most complex camp songs that I have ever done. I first heard this song when I was a teenager at a youth retreat and it was put together by the counselors at this youth retreat and I have loved it ever since. So this is something that's been in my library of camp songs for a long, long time. The song itself is very simple. It goes, I'm glad I am a camper, there's nothing I'd rather be, but if I weren't a camper, uh, something else I would be. So it's only three lines of singing and then one line of spoken. Now the leader of this activity is the one who chooses which um, job title that's going to be the next one to, to go. And it's a cumulative participatory activity. So you will have the first person be assigned a job and a statement that goes with that job. For instance, you've got a taxi driver. So you say, I'm glad I am a camper. There's nothing I'd rather be. But if I weren't a camper, a taxi driver I would be. And then the person that comes up that's the taxi driver, I say, your sentence is two in the front, two in the back, two in the trunk, slam. Then they get to do it two times. So it adds up to eight beats. So they go two in the front, two in the back, two in the trunk, slam. Two in the front, two in the back, two in the trunk, slam. And then they stop. Now I like to establish a stop signal because eventually you're going to have multiple groups all doing their statement at the same time and it gets quite loud and rowdy. So I do a sort of that umpire safe for a stop signal. So that's a good thing to establish. So that group stays there and you sing your song again. I'm glad I am a camper. There's nothing I'd rather be. But if I weren't a camper, a dolly I would be. Mommy, daddy. I love you, mwah. mommy, daddy, I love you. Mwah. So once they have said their sentence that two times, they keep going and the taxi driver people join back in. So now you've got two groups going at the same time. So it's cumulative and you keep going back through all the people each time from the newest one back through your list. This is a lot harder to explain with me, just me talking to you, but I do have a group of students who are taking part in a camp day. And these students are putting this together outside as part of their camp day activity. So we're going to join them and see how it looks when you've got multiple kids and multiple things going on all the same time. And then I'll come back and talk to you after that. One more time. Two in the front, two in the back, two in the trunk, slam. Two in the front, two in the back, two in the trunk, slam. Stop. I'm glad I am a camper, there's nothing I'd rather be, but if I weren't a camper, uh, uh Dolly I would be, that's a good one. Do you want to oh, do it by yeah. yourself or somebody with you? No, no, no. Uh, do you want to take with you? Okay.
So you can see why it was way easier to have you watch the kids in action putting all of those job things together than it was for me to try to explain this with just one person. I'm Glad I Am a Camper is one of the songs in my Donna Rodenizer's camp song collection. I've collected 20 songs that I've used over the years in my classroom with my students during camp song units and I have divided those songs into five different categories. I have sing-along songs, canons and rounds, uh, action songs, call and response, echo songs, and songs with disgusting lyrics that make us say, ew. I'm Glad I Am a Camper is in the action song category. I'm Glad I Am a Camper is actually a very complicated rhythmic activity for your students to do. With each statement only being eight beats long, with simple elements, quarter notes and eighth notes and that sort of thing, the statements themselves are not complicated, but they become a rhythm ostinato that builds on top, on top, on top, until you've got a really complex rhythmic um, combination going on. And they are just going to be having a blast and having a lot of fun. But if they keep it all together and they get all of those ostinati to line up one on top of the other. They are actually doing a very complex activity. The PDF that I've created includes all of those job statements with the rhythm of how to say them, so they'll all fit together, written out. I've just put them in a, an order that fits on the page, so you can do them in any order you like. You don't have to do them in the order that they appear on the, on the sheet, and you can mix and match and use the ones you like and leave out the ones you don't want to and have a blast putting this together with your students. I would do this with upper elementary students, grade 5 and grade 6, maybe grade 4 if you've got a really sharp group of grade 4s, but probably grade 5, 6 is, is a better level for this. I hope that you have fun singing camp songs with your students. It's a great way to send them out of the music room for the summer with a song in their back pocket that they can pull out when they're sitting around with their friends at a campfire or driving in the family vehicle or just when they're all sitting around with a bunch of people and somebody says, let's sing something, and then they can suggest one of these camp songs that is so much fun to do. I hope you have a great day making music and make music a great part of your day.